The ribbon has finally been cut on Orlando's long-delayed Veterans Hospital. A who's who of politicians came to Lake Nona for the dedication of the new VA Medical Center. Construction began in 2007, but numerous delays kept the hospital from opening as planned in 2012. Some parts of the VA hospital are open, while others are not. However, as News 13's David Bowden reports, we're still looking at a couple of months before everything is up and running. And isn't this an incredible day for our veterans in Central Florida? The Orlando VA Medical Center opened amidst a great deal of pomp and circumstance. The project, more than 36 months behind schedule, with thousands of veterans in need of care, waiting. We moved out here, too, uh, because the hospital was going to be here. At least our, our nightmare with regard to the building of this facility is now over, and it's open, and we can start to serve the people who deserve that service, who we promised, uh, and now we can keep that promise. Congressman Alan Grayson says delays in the project became so out of control, he had to take the issue to the House of Representatives. I actually had the House of Representatives pass a specific law that said that if this project took any longer, then this contractor would never get another penny of federal money. Congressman John Micah says there was a collective effort in Washington to get this hospital up and operational. We could have been like Denver is right now. They stopped the project. There were cost overruns. Uh, there were problems with contractors. The whole delegation came together. Uh, we got uh, uh, them to say, let's move forward. You can settle your differences afterwards. Now that it's complete, Secretary of Veterans Affairs Bob McDonald says we will get a better idea of the final cost. We're now going through some of the claims that have been made by the con contractor, which could take to budget or maybe over budget in the final analysis. There are a lot of things we didn't do right, and we've changed those things. He says veterans will reap the benefits of those lessons. In Orange County, I'm David Bowden, News 13. Delays have plagued Orlando's VA hospital ever since construction began seven years ago. It was supposed to be finished within four years by 2012, but the contractor missed several deadlines and the project also went over budget. The VA and the contractor began to blame each other for problems. Orlando is not the only city where the VA has run into problems. A veterans hospital in Denver is $1 billion over budget and still not complete. Another VA hospital in New Orleans will open next year with a budget overrun of about $400 million. And it took three extra years to open a VA hospital in Las Vegas that cost nearly $300 million over budget.